Get me Alan Two Dick. <laughs> I'm the I'm the Southern uh, <laughs> movie producer. No, keep going. Uh-huh. No, 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 keep going. So wait, wait. We need it. To... So, <laughs> so, 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 southern movie producer. I have a question. <laughs> yes. When you com- yeah. <laughs> when you commission a film, do you always announce that you're the Southern movie producer? <laughs> Why well, I do because people aren't expected to hear from a from a Southern gentleman in a movie studio. Yeah. They expect some kind of high and mighty type <laughs> from mm. from a wealthy family. No, I'm I'm a simple Southern man who likes a movie picture. What was the last movie you made? Southern movie producer. <laughs> we we remade Four Weddings and a Funeral with uh, with Alan Tudyk. <laughs> uh huh. And it had no, he had enough dick to go around. It was no problem. You, made, remade, you remade Four Weddings and a Funeral with Alan. He Tudyk. was Hugh Grant and both of the gay men. <laughs> oh, oh, it was like the Nutty Professor. <laughs> so, <laughs> nutty Professor situation. Thank you very much, Southern movie producer. You've been so helpful today. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I can't wait to see your um, remake of the American remake of Death at a Funeral. That brings <laughs> Alan Tudyk back. It's about because time. he was in the British one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A, man, a man who's got two dicks, but he's also got, like, dementia. So every morning he wakes up and he's like, my God, I've got two dicks. He, like, starts showing everyone. They're like, we know, we know. We know, we know. We, we know, know Alan Tudyk. You have to go be in a movie now. Yeah. Who uh, is Alan Tudyk? <laughs> While that's looked up, I, this is something that I think about all the mm-hmm. time, and I apologize if Ooh. I ever did bring this up on, on the pod before. Who's this guy? Yeah. Can I see? Of course you can see Alan Tudyk. Here guy he is. That oh, it's like. that guy! Yeah. That's not the oh. ugly man. There's an ugly British man who was in everything. He was in Love Actually. He was the one who goes to America. You know the one. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, Nick from My Family. Chris. Yeah. Um, Something. With a K. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chris Marshall? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. He was in two movies, and whole, his whole joke was like, oh, I'm pretty bad to look at. He was in a lot of British TV. Right. Okay. He was more of a TV actor. Right, yeah. right, right. Okay, sorry. Please go on. When your partner dies, yeah. on their deathbed, it will never happen. My what's partner will never stopping die. you from saying, I'll never love again? They'll never check. Mm, it's true. Mm. I would go overboard. I'd be like, I'll never kiss again. It depends on your like metaphysical beliefs, I guess. Yeah, also on your delivery. Imagine <laughs> <laughs> how convincing are you? How good are you at acting? <laughs> you uh, I suppose I shall never love again. I'll never love again. <laughs> so, if you say it like that. You have to then... look like you're reading off a teleprompter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Touching your ear as you go. I'll, I'll never love again. Yeah. He'll never. I'll never again, love again, but yeah. more convincingly. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, I've yeah. already said I won't love again. Why would I again? Yeah, but more convinced. What? Nervously start doing like a voice, like all uh, never love again. <laughs> doing like a little bit. Yeah, I'll totally episode. love again. Nah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> my wife, uh-huh. I'll never love again. <laughs> Why are you doing that well, voice? And on my deathbed, <laughs> yeah. the the rage you'd feel <laughs> being forced to listen to Bora. The thing is, Milo, you will be doing. Accents on both your own deathbed and the deathbed of your partner. I, I, I have one major worry about death. Uh huh. Which is <laughs> just the one. Just the one. Which is well, no. <laughs> just one. Please. Okay, if we could clear it up here and now. Be can, a... the po- can this episode just be him saying this? <laughs> I have one major worry. I have one about major worry. How many just minor worries do you have? Wait, I just like wait. <laughs> just, uh, just uh, if we were to condense Plato into one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I have one major concern about this upcoming yeah. procedure. Uh huh. What is it? So, my, okay. So I, when I was young, mm-hmm. when I was sort of like nine, yeah. Yeah. Um, I decided to do kind of an experiment where I sat down and I stared at a brick in the wall of my school while obsessively thinking about dying. Mm-hmm. And the idea was... <laughs> Sorry. I think I'm gonna cry. Is this is this on is this on a test of some kind? <laughs> Have you ever? It is an so experiment. The idea yeah. was, I wanted to see if I could trick myself into having my last thought be something completely anodyne, like a brick in the wall of a school. And so now I worry that my last thought <sighs> will be. <laughs> so wait, you're worried that you've like Manchurian candidated <laughs> yourself into. Uh, whether you like it or not, on your deathbed going, and I'll never, the brick, and then dying. 